Hi guys, it is month 17 and I wanted to take you through my first 12 months plus bonus material of TSW. So I didn't want to just post a slideshow with no context, with in the arms of the angel slowly sobbing in the background because that doesn't help anybody. So I made a voiceover that's kind of like a guided tour through my first 12 months and I hope that gives you a bit more context to what's going on and what you're looking at. <laughs> it's definitely not perfect by any means, but I hope that it's a little bit more useful than just me being like, here's my pain, take my pain. Because you guys don't need more pain. It's fine. I got my pain over with. Like, I'm still a little bit itchy these days, but I'm doing so, so well. I'm living life. I am officially back full time at work. Life is so good, guys. So I just wanted to encourage you and put out my 12 months of TSW. This is me pre-TSW. Um, I am currently in this picture going through a lot of confusing health problems and my skin is behaving itself right now. You can see I've got my eyebrows penciled on. I haven't had eyebrows at this point for about 13 or so years. I've had alopecia for about 13 years and I've had just a bunch of skin issues and a bunch of different weird health issues and just doing life as best as I can. So just so you guys know, this is a wig and I believe when this was taken, I am like pretty much completely bald. Feeling good about myself here, but beforehand I spent most of the morning probably doing my two hour routine of exfoliating all the dead skin off of my face and being super in pain in the morning because my skin is just so flaky and raw and rough. So I did my moisturizer routine and my exfoliation routine and then my moisturizer routine again. And it's looking nice and smooth here because I just got my full face makeup on, but it was, it was a hard day. But it was just average, that's what I did every single day. Every single day I woke up and I had a super flaky face and I just thought I had really bad eczema and I put my Clobetasol cream all over my face and the rest of the areas that were struggling with eczema and I scrubbed all the skin off my face and then I put more cream on and then I scrubbed that off and put moisturizer on and I put more cream on top of that and put my makeup on and that was every single day. I just figured that's how I had to live. So you can see by the end of the day when my makeup wears off, this is kind of what my skin turned out to be like. You can see all of the um, little tiny cracks I have in the corners of my mouth. I struggled with that for years and years, just having those mystery cracks in the corner of my mouth. Like I looked up all kinds of stuff online, like do I have a vitamin B deficiency? Do I have like some kind of fungal issue going on? Just never had any answer for those cracks. It did not matter how strong of steroids I put on there. It just kept coming back. So I was always super self-conscious by the end of the day here, pre-TSW, because my skin would just be so flaky and there was nothing that I could do to moisturize. I could moisturize or I could put on to fix it. So you can see here too, my face is looking pretty okay, but this is, picture is more for my arm that you can see kind of all of the hypopigmentation going on where you can see where it has been and is just like slightly rashy but all of the steroids and the rash are discoloring my skin here and I was kind of embarrassed and just aware of that it was again a weird thing for me where it was like I don't know why my skin's not really getting tan anymore and why it's looking so blotchy might as well just put some more steroids on it and hopefully that fixes it a month and a half pre-TSW, you can see I'm all made up again here and just how tight and dry my skin is. I had, once again, my every morning routine that took about two hours to get the dead skin off of my face and moisturized so I could put my makeup over top. And then throughout the day, my skin would just continually dry out. I would maybe go to the restroom every hour and a half and like I'd be spraying um, like water mist on my face to try and hydrate it and 
I'd be reapplying foundation multiple times a day. You can see I've got some cracks around my mouth here. I've got to zoom in over on the right side so you can see I've got still battling skin flaking. I I'm not able to comfortably smile at this point because the cracks around my mouth are so bad. So you can see I'm doing kind of a <laughs> closed mouth smile here. So that's I've been a struggle for me at this point for about, I don't know, three-ish years where just on and off I get all these terrible cracks around my mouth and I can't smile or they always crack open and bleed when I try and eat. But I'm doing my best. So month one of TSW begins, my clobetasol cream stops working and I have no idea what's going on. And I discover that TSW exists and and just beyond relieved to have answers at this point. So this is an approximation at this point, day 13. I still don't really know what's going on. I'm still going to work every day and doing my two hour-ish skin routine and just trying to pretend to be a normal person and not have issues and just thinking this is just a really bad eczema flare. Um, so day 14 you can see this is me kind of waking up just all of how hard the skin is and all the flaking and the puffiness. My boss came into my office once was like your face is so red and like I almost felt like I was gonna cry. It was like, I am spending over two hours in the morning just on my face trying to camouflage what's going on. I can't change anything. Like, I don't know what is happening. So, um, you can see the puffiness is continuing to get worse. I'm getting like those deeper little cracks around my eyebrow area, bigger raw sections here, and just feeling really hot all the time. Um, I've got on my zinc clothes here, you can see a peak at the bottom. Um, so I'm just really uncomfortable. I'm wearing my zinc clothes underneath my work clothes because I just can't bear to be touched by materials at this point. It's really uncomfortable. So you can see my body's continuing to get redder. The rest of my body here, um, you can see up on the right top hand side, the palms of my hands are still white but I'm getting pretty deep red sleeves here not the deepest red they were um, here's dr. eight dr. 18 day 18 this is um, a picture I actually took for dr. Rappaport um, I have just covered in castor oil at this point trying to keep my skin moist so it hurts less and yes I really am this red you can look at the door in the background for white balance comparison <laughs> um, and he's like, I'm surprised you're like slightly smiling. You look terrible. I was like, oh, it's fine. You know, I'm just used to bad skin. This is my life now. It's happening. Little did I know. Dun, dun, dun. So here's day 18. The back of my neck looks like a burn victim. And I could not stand being touched on my neck by literally anything. Like, do not touch me on the back of my neck is just excruciating. I mean, I'm sure you can imagine it looks excruciating. But interestingly here too, you can see the line of where I've been applying my phlebetasol, like, and then where it's white above that and completely stops. So this red line ends up growing and spreading during TSW, but you can clearly see right here, not only just like the wetness and the ooze of what's going on, but that line where the steroid stopped. Um, day 23, I definitely know that I'm deep in topical steroid withdrawal here. I have had to um, go on a medical leave of accidents from work at this point. This is um, how my arms look um, in the morning. I rolled up my sleeves on my zinc clothes and you can see in the bottom left hand corner here I have my zinc leggings on. I just live in my zinc clothes all day, every single day. I can't stand to even have air on me at this point. Um, so this is day 26, me um, looking like how I do in the morning. You can see the detail shot over there on the right, just the deeper cracks and kind of all those little pinholes of where capillaries all over my face are just kind of spontaneously breaking. Uh, my eyelids are really swollen and so stiff that I can't hardly open my eyes too. And you can see little scratch marks on my chest. You um, can see the super painful skin that splits open in deep cuts whenever I move. So there's the inside of my elbow on the right and then 
the bottom of my shoulder by my armpit over on the left. And those are just excruciating. I mean, it's like somebody taking a knife and cutting into your skin. They're so deep and they just split open. So this is after my bath. You can see obviously I'm all exfoliated here, but you just have all those cuts. Happy New Year to me, day 32. So this is how I looked in to ring in 2020. Um, just kind of like a lizard skin and it was awful. Um, I couldn't see very well at this point either. I started losing my eyesight. Um, you can see my arm is actually looking pretty decent here. It's kind of healing up. I've got a couple of little holes in it, but pretty pleased with that. Um, elephant skin is really starting to ramp up. Um, the back of my neck is drying up a bit more. It's not really so oozy. You can still see that line where the whiteness is to the rest of my head. Um, hands are starting to deteriorate and you can just see how tight my skin is here in the crook of my elbow and that will just split open into those cuts. It's so uncomfortable and just, <clears throat> it just felt like my whole body was kind of on fire from the inside out during this first point here. And you can see, I mean, it just look like I'm burning. I mean, it looks like I've edited these photos, but once again, look at the back tile wall is completely white. I'm just as red as a lobster. It's just terrible. You can see kind of the little cuts on the pad of my um, thumb there. So um, here is a shot of kind of my chest and you can see how thick the scales are on both of my shoulders, especially the right shoulder facing you guys. And it's just like you can't move when your skin gets that thick. I'm like, I could hardly move at this point. I mean, I would get in and out of bed and just get into the bathtub as soon as possible to get all of this stuff off of me. But it was really hard to live like that. It was really hard to get up and down stairs. Um, and I couldn't like twist it all either. I was just like constantly a robot because I just couldn't have my skin break open. So you can see kind of before and after bath here. Um, you can obviously see my eyesight's really bad and I can't even tell if the camera is in focus. So sorry for the left hand picture there, but you can see the really thick scales and the cracks. And then afterward I get those scales off, but the cracks are still there. I felt and noticed too through different trial and error that the scales would pull apart my skin more. So if I could get those off, then my skin would at least have a chance to kind of crust up and like heal in a little bit more of a helpful way than just having the cracks get deeper and deeper as the scales just pull and pull them apart with the dryness. So that's why I really enjoyed, well, quote unquote enjoy, that was the only way to get marginally comfortable. Uh, month three, I remember my eyesight was still really, really bad here. Month two and month three, I really couldn't see much. It was like having Vaseline all over my eyes. So it was really frustrating to live, obviously. Um, it was, I couldn't really watch TV anymore because I couldn't see what was going on. So I kind of listened to some audiobooks at this point, but also my brain fog was just so bad. I couldn't really focus on anything and everything was just confusing because my brain just was not working well at this point. So hands are getting puffier here. You can see all the little flakes. Um, able to open my eyes here, so that's great. And then um, on the right side of the picture, you can see my purple feet. So for definitely, I don't know, 13 months, <laughs> my feet would just get super dark purple, like all the time, especially after the bath, after I would get them warm and get blood flowing to them. So um, here's me, squeaky clean, debrided, and not lobster red after my bath. So you can see before and after a bath just how much better and more comfortable that I am after getting all of that skin off. And you can see some baby eyebrows starting to grow in there on my left hand side. I haven't had eyebrows once again in like 13 years, so that was pretty exciting to see happen. And my hair, as you can see, is continuing to grow back and start to fill in now that I'm off of steroids, which is really exciting. Um, that... Yeah, that didn't last long. So this is just like 
I'm not gonna do the mental math because I can't. But you can just see again how thick and how crusty and how cracked and just completely poor my skin is here. It's so painful. Um, even more painful, getting worse. Um, and then you can see my hands have really gotten terrible at this point where they're just like red mittens. I really couldn't grab that, grab anything with them or use them at all. It's got really like deep cracks underneath each of my fingers too. And then in between each of my fingers was just completely like burn victim raw and would ooze constantly. Um, day 91. This is the advent of Rudolph the Raw-Nosed Reindeer. If you have seen any of my tub talks, you are quite aware of Rudolph being there for several months. And you can see a little bit, at, with all of my ooziest spots, they are just like pinholes or larger, but it's just like my skin just falls off in these little holes and I ooze underneath that. Um, shots of my hand. Um, here I've got, this was some of the worst that my feet were, just bad potato feet. They're so puffy. I had tons of holes on the bottoms of my feet, and you can see that they're purple, and they're just really uncomfortable. So walking was really uncomfortable during, like, month four through month six-ish. Um, neck progress, continuing to heal up here. Um, this is kind of what my legs look like. This was after a bath, but you can just see kind of the deeper holes all over. Continued progress-ish. Like, at this point, I was like, I don't even know if I'm making progress. Um, more flakes, just tons and tons and tons of flakes. Oh, sorry, this got the, uh, this should say month four as well. Um, month five, still more of the same. Slightly better, maybe. You can see all of the flakes again around my shoulders and then all the holes in my feet. This is after my bath, so I don't have as much stuff on my feet. And you can see that they're super dark purple still. Um, deep cracks in my hands, which suck, obviously. I, like, I'm just trying not to use them so that they wouldn't split open and crack so deeply. But you can see in between each of my fingers here just how wet and raw they are it is so uncomfortable I just hated having to do anything with my hands because I just couldn't I mean it's ugh, that oozes awful um more pictures elephant skin this is just really tight elephant skin too like I'm in month 17 ish right now and I still have elephant skin, but I can like move in my skin. This was just so constricted. It felt like getting a snake bite every time I would move. It was so painful. Um, this is what I meant with the holes with the ooze. It's just like these deep holes in my skin. This is after a bath, so you can see that's why it's kind of moist. But just these holes is so painful. It's so deep in my skin. Um, knee detail just showing kind of the thick skin and all the lines um this is just my skin like kind of hanging off of my arm too and like not twisting it just felt like being in a bag at this point <laughs> it was so gross um here's some feet details we can see some of the little holes on the bottoms of my feet and like the gloves except the boots that kind of wrap around to the bottoms of my feet a little bit and there were big cracks on the like joints of each of my toes too. I went out in the sun this day and tried to get some vitamin D, but the heat really irritated my skin. So if you're gonna go outside, make sure you've got a lot of ice packs. Here, more elephant skin on my knees. Um, more healing progress on my neck. It's looking about the same. My hair is getting longer. Hands still wrestling with the same issues, getting um, big palm cracks, which really suck. Um, elephant skin around my torso, just once again, kind of feeling like I'm in a skin bag that doesn't really conform to my body. Um, here's a nice day in the morning, and then this is going to show you the difference at night, same day. So, like, 
there's day-to-day -day difference and then there's also moment-to-moment -moment difference. So just keep hanging on and you could get better, you could get way worse, but isn't that amazing? And Rudolph the Rano's reindeer actually dripping ooze. And this was just so dehumanizing, literally dripping ooze out of my nose 24 seven. Like even when I slept, it just would not stop. It was driving me crazy. Um, here's kind of like my hip area. Just want to show that this is still like literally over my entire body. There was not one area of my body that was not affected. It was inside of my ears. Um, it's in my nose, like literally every square inch of your body where you think, oh, that couldn't get TSW is like in my tear ducts. So here is a nice day on month seven. I think it, this was kind of the first time I was able to go out in public. So I prepared for kind of about a week to be able to do this and made a bunch of game plan. This was for my sister-in-law's wedding. So I've got a video on that too, how I was able to put makeup on and be able to be pretty comfortable that day. It was a really big milestone for me on month seven. Still huge cracks on my palms though, and just you can see how crunchy my pinky's looking there on the other underside where I just couldn't really bend or use my hands very much. Um, feet are starting to get less puffy and the skin's starting to kind of knit together. And then, hello leather face. So, yeah, I've got nothing to say on this. This is just ouchy to look at. It's just, ugh. But for a moment of beautiful reprieve, day 217, my husband caught a baby bunny in the backyard when he was mowing. So he called me down, and I was having, obviously, a super painful, rough day. And I still had difficulty seeing at this point. My vision was kind of spotty, so I wasn't able to see the baby bunny super great. But... I took a picture of him on my phone and then I studied that for a while and could kind of see it better. Um, you can see more stuff all over my boobs. Super sexy, trying not to get too turned on or masturbate to this photo. Um, yes, starting to heal up and, and get a little less puffy again. That crack is healing, but it just heals and opens all the time. Um, this was a big milestone for me. It was just like my body decided to kind of kick it into gear and heal better. So my skin's actually looking pretty great right here. Um, day 34, red right as a lobster when I get hot, but this is summertime here. So just happy to be outside and trying to get vitamin D and help my skin heal as much as I can. Um, just more cracks. You can see the thick crack parts on my feet too are still just painful to walk. It was not, not my favorite. Um, and then so inelastic. I mean, you can just see here my skin is not moving with me. It's moving against me. So every movement, even just opening my mouth, <laughs> is pretty horrifying. But you can see I'm getting a lot of eyelashes here and I'm continuing to get a few more eyebrows growing in. So pretty cool. Um, yep, that palm crack just keeps splitting open. You can see my red sleeves are still really red. I only have just like a few little spots on my palms that are kind of whitish. Here's me looking baffled as to the big questions of the world. Why suffering? Why are we here? <laughs> Um, and then this was the first day that I was actually able to twist around and take a picture of the back of my legs. The back of my legs were about as bad as my arms for this entire bit. I just was not able to physically twist around and take a picture of them. But you can see that they're pretty dark purple and you can kind of see all the raw holes and raw spots. And still always cold and having troubles with temperature regulation, but so much better than I was in month one where I just had to be bundled in like three blankets at once and couldn't have the air touch me because I was just constantly shivering, constantly had water bottles on me in month like one through five pretty much. So still cold, but look at me out in public in my hooded sweatshirt. <laughs> You can see those raw spots in between my hand fingers just still drive me crazy. Still sleeved up, still got those cracks. Less flaky here. 
Um, yeah. And then also looking less flaky here. I'm still continuing to see my skin knit together. Like I'm opening my eyes really well in the morning here. My vision is like completely back here by month 11, which is awesome. Um, look at my beautiful feet, all nice and unpuffy. I've still got like some rashes, but I can walk now comfortably, which is was really, really a gift on month 12. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to like walk comfortably for like years, but it was just maybe like a half a year. So here's me after the bath. I went out with my husband in the car like a big girl. So sad, tired eyes though, still getting really pretty much no sleep throughout this entire year and just battling being completely wet all the time at night. So really, really tired. <laughs> um, fingers again, just like my palm was behaving, but then the back of my hand was not gross. But my, the crook of my arm was really knit together again. Didn't have any really bad cracks there. And month 12, you can see like my skin's really starting to smooth out and starting to look like skin more. Like I don't wake up just completely encrusted. My elasticity is coming back and I've still got some more eyebrows and some more eyelashes coming back. Um, here's the back of my neck, which is a pretty drastic difference from month one. This is after the bath, obviously I've got my lotion on. And this is, again, still waking up crusty, but not as horrible as it has been. Still seeing great and able to open my eyes. Um, ear ooze is pretty much all better at this point, too. Like, ear ooze has been better since probably month 11. Look at those eyebrows. Here's bonus month 15. So just jumping up in the timeline a little bit. You can see the difference where I'm rashy and this is just in the morning. This is without a bath, which is incredible. I've got some white skin going on here. You can see the rashes, but overall the flakes are pretty much gone. So it's really exciting. So comparison picks, month one versus month 15. And I don't even need to address that. I and mean, look how much hair I have back. The one white streak on my right hand side on month 15 is just from my itching my neck momentarily. Potato feet versus mostly healed feet. I've got just a little rough skin on month 15 ankles, but doing really, really well. Um, once again, month nine was the soonest that I have a picture of my roll of my legs just because I couldn't bend around, but you can just see how much less red my legs are in month 15. They're not purple anymore either. I don't have any big holes. It's really wonderful. Mitten hands versus month 15 hands. It's just kind of loose skin at this point and it's kind of dry, but it's not like super flaky. I can wash my hands now, which is amazing. I can use my hands. Like it's such a gift to just be able to wash my hands. Oh, just do not ever take that for granted, people. And then you can see the palm cracks versus my palms have really, really healed up. They're still like split open just slightly sometimes, but overall they're really knit together. And then month two versus month 15, blind and not really even able to open my eyes versus just opening my eyes like it's no big deal. I've got like a few little shadowy eyebrows. I've got some eyelashes. I'm able to open my mouth and I'm able to smile without pain here. You can just see how much my, better my chest is and my shoulders. I'm really actually looking white in the morning when I wake up. Still like little pink parts and little rashes, but really, really doing well here. So you can see TSW has not been easy. It has definitely been the worst experience of my life and I am not overstating that. It is awful. It is hell on earth. I lost my eyesight, I lost my ability to open my mouth for a while, like besides just kind of like <laughs> um, and like I couldn't sleep for over a year. I'm still having problems sleeping here on month 17, but I'm doing so, so much better than like being lucky to get two hours of sleep a night. So I have lost so much in TSW, but I'm slowly 
gaining it back and more. I've gained so much in TSW too. I've gained patience, I've gained self-assurance, I've gained trust in God and in the process. So just continue to hang in there. I hope that this video diary helps you in some way. And always feel free to shoot me any questions or comments you have and hang in there. It's going to get better. Life is beautiful and wonderful. <laughs>